channel. My name is Pamela and this is Teacher Pamela Plans where we do everything from teaching ideas to planning to dreaming and so much more. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to do a plan with me. This is my self-care section of my catch-all planner and so we're going to do a little decorating of that before I get started on the week. I am loving this layout. First, I want to say that this is Jane's Agenda's self-care layout. It's gorgeous. I'm loving it. It has all the things. So cool. All right, so I'm super excited. I just got some things in the mail and I'm going to be using those things to decorate. So here I have, this is just sticker paper and I've cut it and I'll have to trim it a little bit once I get it on there, but this is gonna help me so that I can stamp on the sides here and not have it bleed through to the next page. So I'm gonna be using those. I also just got in the mail these beautiful VersaFine Claire inks. I'm so excited because I've already tested them out and they work beautifully. These, This is a pigment ink, and what that means is it just it doesn't soak into the paper it stays on top of the paper. So these are great for stamping in your planner, which I'm so excited to do because I love stamping in my planner, but it's hard to, you're always you know just afraid of it soaking through like that. You don't wanna ruin the next page. So these are gonna help with that. So I am so excited. They are beautiful, they are vibrant. Ugh, I'm just thrilled to have these and they just came today in the mail so I'm like, yeah, Let's use them. Yes, please. So these are the colors I'm going to be using, and I'll show you why in a minute. So those are going to be the ones that I'm stamping all about. And then over here, I can actually use whatever stamps I want to. It doesn't matter what kind of ink, because I'm going to use that sticker paper to help me. As far as my stamps are concerned, I have these really fun stamps that I got off of Etsy. Um, and this is from Atelier Dreams. She has some amazing, amazing stamps. They're all photopolymer, which if you're not familiar with stamps, photopolymer are the high, high quality stamps that are very easy to use and they just stamp really well without any sort of extra help per se. So I'm gonna be using some of those and she has a variety of different ones now. I don't believe she sells most of these anymore. These are all kind of older stamps that she had on her site. And she's kind of winded down, I believe, on these stamps just simply because I don't think people use them as much as I do. I love stamping, but I just don't think that it's as common as it used to be. So these all are from her and they're all different kind of planner stamps, which I just love, like the layers that you can use with them. So cool. And I also have these Happy Planner stamps. Now, I'm not a big fan of these stamps, to be honest with you. These are cheaply made, they're harder to use. That being said, with this VersaFine Claire, they can work quite nicely. It takes a little bit of practice and work, but they can work okay with these. But if you just have cheap stamps with cheap ink, it's gonna be blotchy, it's not gonna work, right? But since I have this cheap, <laughs> these cheap stamps, they will work with this more pricey and better quality ink. Here comes the big thing that I ordered that I'm so excited about. Here it is. It's a Friends Planner Sticker Book. What, what? Oh my gosh, you guys. I am so pumped about this. I love Friends. I literally go to sleep to it at night just listening to it in my ear. Uh, it's a comfort thing for me, I guess. I don't know. I'm obsessed. I can't even count how many times I've watched it. I still die laughing, even though I've seen every episode countless times. I'm just such a big fan. So when I saw this, I actually saw this on one of my planner Facebook groups. And someone posted this and I was like, oh, that's a must have. There is no question about it. I am getting that. And it's so cute. It's so cute. It's got all the things. This is really like the main page that I'm kind of gonna be focusing on for this decoration, like these colors. And so that's why I'm using these, these specific Versify, uh, VersaFine Claire colors. And, um, but they're just, I mean, they're adorable. 
so cute. Like real pictures from the show in there and real sayings, which I really love because there's just like inside jokes in here, which I think is so cute. These are all the Thanksgiving ones. They have where Rachel makes the trifle with beef in it. They have the moist maker sandwich on there. I mean, they just have all the things. They have Christmas, You're, you are my lobster. I mean, that's an obvious one if you've ever seen this show. Coffee is live, pivot. There's a lot of pivot in here, which I love. That's one of my favorites. This one I had to look up because I didn't even remember this, but outside bad, inside good. That's from when they get those super comfy chairs in their apartment, Joey and Chandler do. And they just stay in those chairs for like days on end and don't move. And they so they say, outside's bad, inside good. So then they've got all these different things and I love them. Hello, my name is Regina Falange. I mean, that's an inside joke. So really I'm gonna be focusing kind of on that first page and this page with some of the foods. Um, Joey doesn't share food, kind of doing some of that because I'm also probably going to over here decorate with the pizza. So making a little pizza over on the side there for it. So that's my plan for this layout. And then I also have this fun, and actually it's a scratching sniff. It smells like pizza. I know you can't obviously smell it, <laughs> but um, it's a cute washi that's got pizza on it. So I thought that might be a cute cute part of it too. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with the dates at the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that. So this is the week of the 19th, June 19th. So I'm gonna start there. And I'm gonna use these stamps that are from Happy Planner. So these are stamps that you have to really like gently push down on the different areas. Some people like prime them. I already kind of primed it. I'm not going to do that after every time I stamp it. I mean, that looks pretty good. So I'm just, you just have to be more careful with it. So it takes a little bit more practice and it takes a little bit more tediousness to do it. All right, so there's my little stamps at the top. They're so cute. And you can see like, it doesn't even go through. You can see a shadow if you lift it up, but not really. So no big thing. All right, now I'm gonna go through and do the dates. On the dates, I think I'm just gonna do them in black. And for my black, I have the actual I have both. I have Versafine Claire, but I think I, I just already have this one out. So I'm going to use the Versafine, the Onyx black ink for that. This is like an old school one where it hinged and it broke off. I think that's why people kind of complained about them. See, look at that. I made a little whoopsie, but I get to cover it up with the sticker, so who cares? <laughs> so, I'm going to get out my friends. And what I like to do over here is I want every single area to have something somewhere to write. I use this planner and I write down what I did for my mind self-care, what I did for my soul self-care. Ooh, these are really cool clear. I didn't expect them to be clear, stamp, uh, clear stickers, but they are. It's cute. Little chairs. These are so cute. I love that they're clear. So here I'm just going to add one of my little small boxes, quarter boxes. Maybe I'll do it in orange. I'll do it in orange. I haven't used orange Colorful. And maybe go off.
off to the side a little bit. Who cares, right? That'll be kind of cute. I do like to do some layering and things like that. So let's do something on the top for mine. label on top because it's really cute it's got like you probably can't see it oh my gosh that's really cute so this has got like the coffee and the coffee house on it you probably can't see it but it's really cute okay loving this so far all right i'm gonna add some little characters i think for the next boxes Ooh, maybe the fountain love the fountain pivot I love pivot so I might do that on a separate one actually maybe I should put friends like here and I really could white that out because that's gonna cover if I don't white this bar out and I put friends there it's gonna look weird Friends, I'm loving this so much. Oh, that's so cute. Looking for a coffee one that I can use. That's like maybe a coffee saying or something. then I need a little something there so I might just do another one of these little guys I have some of these fun ones that I wanted to use I'll use one of these these are super cute because you can actually use multi colors fill in how you want like two-sided here oh, look at that Nice and crisp, beautiful. And then these line up so nicely. I've had to practice these in order to get them right and it's been a while since I've used them. So this might not be perfect, but I'm gonna do my best with it. That's kind of fun. Cute and different. And then I need some sort of decorative something close by. I might put just a little, a couple little stickers in there. Ooh, I know, like one of these guys. I love this sticker. That's so cute. Thought it was gonna fit in there. It kinda doesn't, but it looks cute. All right. Then I definitely want to put something with pivot because I love that part. There's pivot. Too cute. I love the pivot. Let's see what we've got for boxes for pivot. Pivot. Cute. I am just loving this friends. Okay. So I've got all this side done. This is pretty much it. That's all I do. All right, let's go to the other side. So I just used for that one, by the way, I used journaling from the happy planner. So that's all I used for that. I'm a disaster I like I when I'm creating I've got stuff everywhere welcome to the real world it sucks you're gonna love it it's from the very first episode cool these are so cute oh my gosh love it I like this little zigzag art thing it's here that's cute Ooh, I can use some of these. I really always have liked this grid one. I don't know why. I just like it. I can use this. I think this would be fun to use. It's 
got the little dots on it. Do I want the dots to be colored or do I want the background to be colored? I think I want the background to be colored and I'm just gonna do it purple. And so this is gonna go like on the bottom part So crisp, so beautiful. The photopolymer stamps with the VersaFine Claire. Oh my goodness, I mean, can't get much better than that. It's really cute. I didn't push down hard enough, but that's okay. It's really cute. All right, let's see. I'm just loving this. I think I wanna add the fountain for sure somewhere. Oh, lobster. I need to do a lobster one. So what I might do here, let's see if I have another one of those. I just love these. These are like one of my favorites. I don't know. If I did like a grid one, the lobster one's a little big. So if I did the grid, I'd have to move the lobster over. I could do the little lobster underneath it. Ooh, I forgot to write weekend too. I can put, I can put, I'll probably put weekend up there. Which script do I want to use? This one? Yeah, probably this, this one. Cute. I'm gonna add a little stampy roo for that. I'm gonna add this weekend stamp. weekend pretty cute pretty cute and let's see what else we got going on all right um I need to put like something there I just like how it looks oh so cute love it I really want to incorporate the pizza. I probably should have on the other page a little bit. I like it. So I think here I'm going to put like a big old stamp. Cute. I think I put that going the wrong way. It did, but it doesn't look terrible. Okay, so then the last part is over here, so I'm gonna decorate with the pizza. So I'm gonna put these stickers on there. All right, so I'm gonna add a couple boxes here, I think. And that's pretty good. It's actually on that sticker a little bit, but. It's got a little blotchy, but it's okay. Still cute. Okay, and then I'm gonna put, like there's a little piece, and I'm just gonna use red. There's a little topper to it. Cute. Okay, now I still need to put one down here. Nice and crisp but I am gonna add the pizza washi tape to the bottom of this. I think that'll add a little bit and it'll be super cute. And I'm gonna stop right to there. I don't know what it is about scratch and sniff washi I just think it's so fun 
I love it. I had to, there was some coffee when I saw this kind. I should have gotten that too. That would have been good for friends. But mm, it smells like pizza. Okay. Now I'm going to add the stamp over here. And this stamp set is Lawn Fawn stamp set. It's called Pizza My Heart. And so I'm going to use the pizza over here. And what I'm going to use for this, though, is I'm going to use my Copic markers to color it in. So that's why I put those stickers on there, because those would obviously bleed through if I didn't put those there. So I am going to stamp now the Lawn Fawn, and I'm going to, because I'm using my Copic to color it, I cannot use this VersaFine because the Copics will bleed into that. So what I want to use for this is my Memento Black ink. This ink, there's my Memento Black ink, and this is great for coloring with Copics and alcohol markers. I'm not using Copics. I don't know why I said Copic, because I don't have Copics. I have Alt New, but these are alcohol markers. And then I'm going to kind of mask this side because I'm going to kind of layer the little pizzas all around. So I'm just going to use this and kind of tape it down. Sometimes when you're doing these like different angle things, sometimes it gets like people, it just gets to be too much and then you're like, oh no, like now I have to put more because that didn't work out. So I just like to try to be as minimal as I possibly can because I've kind of learned from that that I've gone overboard and then it just doesn't look right. So let's go back to the sticker book. I thought about putting the little people in there, but there's just not that many of those. So I'm kind of hoarding those because they're so cute. I could put the one of Joey on there holding the pizza, but I just, they're just so cute. Look at these. There's like these ones and then there's some colored ones and that's like it. And so I just, I just can't use them. <laughs> See, they're on this page and they're so cute with the duck on that page. So Joey has the duck in his hand on that page. I mean, they're just so cute. And there's Rachel and there's Phoebe with her guitar. Rachel's got a coffee cup in her hand and Ross just hanging out. And then Chandler's got the chick in his hand. I mean, it's so cute. And then of course, Monica. So I don't know, they're just adorable. I guess there is quite a few of them. The same ones are on this blue color and then they have the black and white ones and I think that's it, but I just, I don't know if I can do it. That one is the only one with the pizza in his hand. I mean, I guess I could buy another one of these sticker books, right? <laughs> okay. That's really cute. Yeah, I'm going to put some more pizzas up there. Okay, so now I'm going to add some cute things onto the pizza. There are some really cute, like, little little designs here like pepperoni and some little mushrooms and things like that. So I think as much as possible, I'm going to use stamping to do that maybe so that I don't have to color as much. I don't know.
I used the Versafine Claire, which then those are going to blend with the alcohol markers. It's not going to work. Um, so had I left those not colored and used the Memento only and like used these that you could color in, like these little ones here, um, then I could color it. But this, this pizza box I could still color, but then it's going to, I feel like, look off with, with the other things. Now what I am going to go back though and do is correct these lines with a black alcohol to make it look a little bit more defined. So let's look at the whole thing together. All right. So this is our whole layout. I think it's gorgeous. I love everything about it. I'm super excited to use it this week, my birthday week. Thank you so much for watching today. I had so much fun doing this layout and I hope you enjoyed it too. Please like and subscribe below so that I can do more fun videos like this. And don't forget, keep dreaming. Bye-bye.